What up, world? It's your boy Sky, broadcasting live, tuning in, you know, from a Whole Foods visit just to charge my phone, to be honest, and get some water. Early in the day, you know, like our community, our apartment community has no electricity at all and no hot water so oh my god that's first world problems oh my god no i know okay i'm aware that i'm still alive which i'm very grateful for you know and that's honestly the most that matters you know that i'm still here you know but i'm still sharing the truth and facts of what's actually going on you know with the situation so the reason why i'm not here you know i've already been homeless you know, walking around the, the library and whatnot. Nobody even knew. You know. Except one lady actually asked her about a homeless shelter. If I was going around, nobody knew on social media. You know, before and after nobody knew except for me. But anyways, comes in the way. So I just Yesterday, I was out with my homie, you know, and this is like, we were inside, and all of a sudden, it started pouring down rain. Like, well, before we saw these dark, ominous, mysterious, powerful clouds, we knew something had to come. And guess what? It is, you know, and a big storm came. So, the storm, like, came, I see all these trees right here. So, like, this. See, this This is only a little bit of it. They've cleaned a lot of it. It's only been less than 24 hours. So look, they're chopping down the trees and whatnot. It's a lot of
at the time, you know, like when there was no concrete and you know, there was no like roads, there were no buildings, offices, you know, churches, <laughs> stuff like that. Like it was just how it is, you know, grass, trees, mountains, valleys, rivers, canyons, you know, stuff like that. So stuff like this happens, I'm able to really just, you know, see things how they naturally are in a way. You know, I know there's still houses and stuff like that, but I still do dream of seeing like a world with no type of buildings at all. Even in third world countries, I'm still seeing like stacks and a bunch of debris and trash everywhere. I wonder what it's like to walk in a vast area where there's like no type of streets, you know? But who knows? But anyway, I say that because it's a cool vision, you know? Like you're not thinking so much, you're just like being, you know? Like look, all this right here, all this disaster, the people doing work and whatnot, the houses and everything. Hold on, I'm not just talking about one of them. Um, about a work order possibly. Cause that storm like knocked out our knocked out our window. But anyway, picking up the client stuff, you know. There's a cat. And for walk, you know it might be a little home. Big deal though. I'm trying to get the cat over here. Oh, it's still there. It's still dark. You can see. Trying to stop on the dog. There's no electricity. And the dog is deaf. The dog has hearing issues, problems. So, I'm gonna find it though. Usually it's hiding in here. Maybe. Open. Oh, no. Bottom line is off. Oh, hold on. Where is he at? Where you at? Jojo, -jo, Jake and Jojo. -jo. Where is he at? Oh man. Oh hey! Look here he is. Hold on. Here we are. What up, man? <laughs> she felt my presence. Yeah, we're about to go out for a walk. She got his little toy. No, it's dark in here, man. We're not about to be stuck in here all day. Oh, but guess what? What about uh, cavemen? Cavemen and, you know, people back in ancient days, they used to sometimes spend a long time in dark, dark caves. That's cool, okay? That's awesome. I'm relating to that now, in a way, just in a dark apartment, whatever, you know. Bottom line, like, thanks for bearing with me, y'all, like, because part of me is, like, it's like a, a war, or like a battle, not a battle, it's like a growth of understanding of the perception of my own perception of this Because like, part of me is like, I wonder about ancient stuff. And then the other part of me is like, you know, well, what about right now? You know, what about what's happening right now? So, that's the dilemma I've been going through. Is just, you know, seeing if it's okay that I think like this. learning from those who have walked before us. You know, so, that's what I'm understanding. At least it's another sunny day and the atmosphere is a little bit cleaner. You know, I love when it rains a lot because you see the grass and stuff gets real lush. 
other day I was outside, it was freaking sunny and hot, and like, I was able just to really calm my nerves a lot. I was really able to calm my nerves a lot. Um, it's like outside, you know, at the park. You know, no shirt on. It was ba I was baking out there, like, super hot. I'm talking about, I was sweating, like, a lot. Got a good glow going, you know what I'm saying? And, like, I don't know. It's a lot of things I'm wondering about, but I guess the main thing, y'all riding with me, I'm like, I've been realizing Obviously, the universe that I've been, the message I've been getting is working on my mind, you know, my mind has just apparently been toxic, toxified, you know, so I've been on a process of just healing my whole body, you know, my health, my mental health, my physical health, spiritual health, all that stuff, all flowing together, you know, just because someone has a six pack doesn't mean they're mentally healthy. And just because someone's mentally healthy doesn't mean they're gonna have a six pack, you know? Or, you know, healthy spirituality or healthy body mechanism. So bottom line is I'm doing my best. I'm doing I'm in work in progress for overall just health. And this right here is like a dream. I don't know why I'm like the only one out here that loves to do it. Cause some people are probably gonna be like, oh well you need to make some money. You need to be working at a job, you know? But honestly, no. Because to be real with you, I'm already getting paid for doing this with the dog. You know what I mean? And like, this is good enough. Like, being out here, literally, in the sunshine, with the animals, you know, in nature. Like, literally, this is what I'm designed for. What we're designed for. Why would you want to go against that? Don't lie to yourself. You know this is the most simple way and natural way, literally, that we're supposed to live and that I'm living. That's what I'm realizing. Like, like, I'm living. what I'm realizing. You know what I mean? Like, I guess some people do construction or whatever, this and that, but deep down, y'all know we're not supposed to be working, for real. Who the hell wants to go <laughs> to clock in to a place and work? there for however many hours uh, there may be some people like, oh you're lazy you're broke you don't got money this and that <laughs> that's not true because i'm rich i'm forever rich you know and like it's just the truth though because i see i'm i'm aware it's possible to, like there are some mentors out there who have made it clear that it's possible to be able to live a life where having a lifestyle, not so much a work or a job, it's just like a lifestyle where it's whole and complete, and that's what I'm doing, so that's getting out in the sunshine, you know, with my sandals, with my shorts and whatnot, healthy eating, you know, relaxing, breathing, all that stuff is like helping out a whole lot, because you, you straight past the illusion, you know what I'm saying, like all this biblical stuff people read about, Noah's Ark and everything, we can see it this today and like eight, hey, you know what I'm saying, with all the trees and all that water from yesterday, like that was it, that was helpful for us to be able to see what truly matters. You know what I'm saying? Like for real. That's what helps us see what truly matters. You know, because it's like your car you can lose your car, I've lost my car. You can lose your home, I've lost my home. You can lose You can lose a phone. You can like damage the phone. Man, there's a bunch of stuff that can happen. You know? All types of material stuff. But then you see like what truly matters is just like life. You know what I'm saying? Like nature, life. And that goes with plants, you know, animals and people like celestial stuff, you know, things that are actually living, like grass, like trees, like the enzymes from the, these different plants and herbs, like a dog, like a cat, you know, all these things. I know it's like, oh wow, that's deep stuff. That don't make any sense. 
or that's some deep stuff. I already know that. Well, I'm glad you're able to understand it better, you know, because sometimes we gotta go through these low moments or whatever of uncertainty, then we see like what really matters. When we get deeper and deeper, and that's what I'm doing with my mind. You know, I'm like so passionate about this whole process, and he just tearing off the mask, tearing off the layers, tearing off all the junk, and garbage, and toxic crap that has been loaded into my brain, that's been soaking into my mind, you know what I mean, like a bath for so long, like it's been some acidic, dirty water that my brain has been floating around in, if that makes any sense, and what I'm doing is just Getting this off, you know what I mean? Getting this off because obviously it still ain't cool, it still ain't solved, it still, you know, got some circuits, circuits, circuits that have to be repaired and fixed and are being improved at the same time. So I'm gonna be alright, you know. I'm gonna be alright. I already know what certain actions are, so. I don't go there, you know what I mean? I already have learned from certain patterns, so I prevent them from happening again. No, I don't know it all, but it's just literally the best thing I've been able to learn throughout my life, and especially on this spiritual vegan voyage, is that, you know, literally how you respond is like your ultimate power. You know what I'm saying? Like literally, out of any type of situation, literally, if you still or like, do your best and you know, are 100% truthfully in your whole heart, your mind, and everything, all is just in sync, truthfully, consistently, then things, you know, the waves of life become more enjoyable to ride and it's not so much of a burden. You know what I mean? But like, when you constantly, you know, going to a place in your mind, in your heart, in your spirit, in a period of time that doesn't serve you, you're gonna figure out the hard way, you know what I mean? And I'm grateful that we have been learning these lessons, we've been learning these lessons, we've been improving from it, you know what I mean? I love being out here in the sun, this is, this is life, you know? I'm on nothing but water, you know? And that's how it's supposed to be. And I can only believe that things will work out and that good things will come, you know what I mean? Because Deep down, all I desire was just to meet my twin flame. You know, my twin flame, you know, the woman of my dreams, all that stuff. And the universal message, I guess, is just that I must continue to work on within myself. And, you know, so long as I build myself up to that point, then I'll be able to track that, you know, to even more than I want. Because we can attract it and then, you know, it'll be there and then sometimes maybe we don't like what we see, you know, and that's sometimes a distorted image of ourselves. But on a deeper level, that perfect divine reflection. <laughs> divine reflection that I'm desiring to have children with, you know, I'm working progress for new levels because there's many terms about how this, how we separate, how one runs away, this and that, you know, that's natural. And yeah, I'm experiencing a lot, <laughs> to be honest, but in a way I'm grateful for it because it's like, you know, what am I going to do? You know, am I going to keep using all my energy to stress myself out to go to a place that I'm not at? Or... Or am I just going to be, you know, where I am now and figure out what to do next, you know what I'm saying? Like, just to take care of my own self, my own life, circumstances, you know, and then be aware of the return, you know? The timing of the thing is supposed to work out how it's supposed to work out, so... Just being accepting of that is what I'm having to surrender to, honestly, because it's like, you know,
know, force and stuff. Sometimes we gotta get reminded of fail over and over again and just waste our energy. Just burst our energy so much. You know, to finally just let go and just accept things for what they are. Even though you may disagree or even though it may not be going the way you want. You know, at least have that inner peace. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't know how all these things are supposed to work. I just desire some simple, monogamy, long-term type of stuff. You know, to build a family and some big change, you know, around the world. You know what I'm saying? Truthfully. You know what I mean? Like, the dream for me is for me to have risen to, you know, a full completion within myself. I'm not saying that I'll be perfect and I'm not saying that I'll have known it all and have it all figured out. But just to a point where it's like, boom, you know, I'm really, really healthy and healed up, you know, 100%, you know, healed up very healthily, functionally, functioning a lot better, you know, so I'm able to be able to smile when it's a thunderstorm like I was, you know, be calm in a thunderstorm like I was, like I am, you know, be cool, you know, and have even a higher level of growth within myself these various experiences, natural disasters, you know, bills, problems, whatever, interacting with people, but like, to be at that point where, you know, my skin is tougher, and, you know, I'm not emotionless, but to be at the point where, you know, I'm so in love with my own self, with my body, you know, that I'll be cool, you know, I'll be, able, I'll be good, you know, I'll be smiling, and it won't rouse my joy, you know, I won't let it control me or overpower me, and just, that's what I mean by it, just to be able to ride the waves, you know, fluidly, you know, waves, waves are waves, you know, it's, it's fun, it's a ride, it's a life, you know what I mean, it's up and down, but it's not, you're not going to get eaten by a shark, you know, you're not going to fall off into a bunch of rocks and die or whatever, you know what I mean, nah, so that's my point, to just get out of that dark, you know, toxic mental space that some of us are overcoming, you know, to just feel and live, you know, and that's what I'm doing, because part of it said, oh, you know, I desire, you know, the woman, my dreams, my twin flame, this and that, you know, and I'm doing my best, but still, I'm aware that I still have work to do within myself, of course, because, you know, I've already learned the lesson, you know what I'm saying? porn, masturbation, all that stuff, we already know that, you know, so why do we do it? I don't know, it's part of building our own stuff up that we have to get past that to learn that, hey, you know, one, you're watching random people that can be related to you, naked, having sex on a website, on a screen. Two, you're not even really drawn to the people, it's really just drawn to the feeling, you know, not the feeling, just the chemical response inside of our brain, you know, the endorphins, the dopamine, all that stuff, okay, I can get text, you can call it a narrative, you can go, oh, everybody likes this porn, everybody wants this porn, no, I don't, I'm not vibing with that, because I know the feeling that I felt letting it go, to be honest, because even if you're feeling good, you worked out, you know, maybe you smoke some herbs, maybe you're out in the sun, you know, maybe it's some good food or whatever, and all of a sudden you're feeling, you know, sexual energy build up a little bit or whatever. And, you know, it's not like I was just group, but you're just like, dang, what do I do with all this? You know, and honestly, you know, I can keep dispersing it all every five seconds or whenever you get an erection or whatever you're stimulated down there, ladies. You know, like, to be honest, you cultivate that, you know, create with the one that y'all both truly agree on creating. To be honest, that's how I'm seeing it. And that's how it's been planning out because I've had sex with women, you know, and a lot of times, well, all the time, it's just been for, you know, pleasure amongst both of us. And, you know, sexual energy, sharing, whatever you want to call it. It's just sex, you know, with a condom, without a condom. You know, bottom line is we both my experiences with the late, with the, my experiences with sex, you know, with the women have always been 
to the point of not creating, you know, to the point of not having a child, to the point of preventing a child being born, you know. And I know I'm getting real deep, very vulnerable, very, very vulnerable, very honest, very random, but it's true, to be honest. And that's how it's been my whole experience with this. all of them, all of the women, you know what I mean? And I, I've accepted it, you know what I mean? Because who am I to try to force, you know, that creation? Am I even ready for this child? You know, who am I to try to force and dictate that? And I just have a deep faith intuitive knowing or whatever that hey you know when I'm ready and the woman's ready you know it will be a mutual agreement it won't be too much it won't be any force you know it'll be natural you know and some people like oh well the time is now make a baby now nah it don't work like that okay it really don't just, I've learned just to allow things to align and naturally flow that's the best way for me to put it you know? So, anyways, it's your boy Scott. We're on test tomorrow.